we are going to discuss about TCP. So what is this TCP exactly? This is called test configuration parameter. So first we'll understand the conceptual approach of TCP. Then we'll go into Tosca and understand what is exactly TCP. TCP is one of the way to provide the test data or pass specific values for test steps in test case. So what you can do with TCP, either you can pass the test data, you can provide the test data, right? Or you can pass specific values also. Test data is nothing but, I mean, whatever values we are giving, the username, password, that is test data. Or specific values, suppose let's say we are giving like this particular test case has to be run in Chrome, or this particular test case should be running in Firefox, right? So those are like specific values actually. So TCP we can use for both. So today here, I mean, we are going to see how we are going to use that. Okay, before going to that, we have to understand test configuration parameter can be created at three levels. So number one, one, uh, one would be project level. Number two would be test case folder level. Number three would be test case level. Okay, we cannot create TCP at test step level. Okay, we have to create TCP at either project root level test case folder level or test case level okay also tcp can be created in execution section also syntax for tcp follows like this so flower bracket cp then square bracket the tcp name and we'll close both brackets so this is the conceptual understanding of tcp now let's go into Tosca and look exactly what it is. Let's go to test case section. Let's open the project level also. Suppose this is project for me. I'm going to open that project. I, I am placing in my one of the tab. See, this is the project level. You see this uh, a Tricenti symbol, I mean Tosca symbol, right? The logo. This is the project level. This is test case folder level. This is called folder, okay? all these things right i mean all these things these are folders this test case folder level i mean this is also a folder right these are called test cases so where and all we can create tcp we can create either here or here or in the project or in the test case i mean these two are test case folders this is test case this is project, right? These places we can create TCPs. Suppose first let me go to project and create one TCP for me. Okay. So what TCP I'm going to create? See for to create TCP, what I have to do? I have to right click and give this icon, this purple icon you see here, create test configuration parameter, right? When I click on that, it would ask for me some parameter to pass. Suppose I am passing browser. In browser, I am giving like Chrome. See, when I gave this test configuration parameter at project level, it would be there across every folder. See, this test cases is there, right? Here you see, you have Chrome. Everywhere, I mean, whatever folders if you check or whatever test case if you check, everywhere you will see this browser as chrome because what happened we created at project level suppose for example this particular test case you see it's highlighted at bold color right it's highlighted in bold because here what happened yesterday we have created this particular tcp at test case level that's why it is it is in bold okay but for this we haven't created any test case i mean any test configuration parameter that's why it's taking from project level now let's see to create it in folder level okay now i'll right click this folder when you don't see any option here of tcp you can click these three dots you will see an option create test configuration parameter see other test configuration parameter what i am creating is like 
let's say I am creating something called username. Okay, I'll pass the values later. I would create one more configuration parameter called password. Okay, sorry, this I have to name it username. Okay, username username and password I have created so now this Chrome what we are using I mean when we go back to presentation so this is one of the way to provide test data or pass specific value right specific value is nothing but that Chrome what we are giving see uh, here we have one more option like provide the test data test data is nothing but this username and password See yesterday, I mean today in our login application, directly we gave the username and password, right? I mean, if you see here, directly we gave the username and password. So those values we are going to pass from TCP. Okay, now these values we are going to pass from TCP. So where I have to go, I have to go to my folder because at folder level, I created TCP, right? So this is my username and password would be tosca123 right see as i created in my folder level it would be restricted to this folder alone see in this folder it is there the test cases which falls under that folder also you will have see this test cases will fall under that folder right so that's why we'll have but whereas in project if you check we have we don't have right whereas in other folders if you check we have we don't have whereas in test case like this parent folder if you check also we don't have right that's that's the thing suppose for example let's say here we created other test configuration parameter in this test case demo web application registration okay i gave something called url okay what is the url for me that URL is going to be our demo web shop URL. Okay, register URL. I am just giving like register URL here. Okay. See, this it got highlighted in bold color, right? Why it got in bold color? Because we are creating the test configuration parameter in this particular test case. Suppose if I see this test case, I have that. I don't have. When I see this folder, I will be having that definitely not because we created this one at test case level if same thing you would have created a test folder level i mean this folder level in these both test cases we would see that okay so hope everyone is clear with this concept now let's go ahead and pass the values okay here we gave like email right so now the test configuration parameter for me i gave like username okay now I am going to pass that username instead of this email. Not directly hard coding the data. I am going to give some syntax and call that. See, this is my username. Okay, I'll close both brackets. So the syntax for it, it would be CP, flower bracket CP, square bracket, and the TCP name, test configuration name, right? Uh, test configuration parameter name and close both brackets. See now. I'll have like this. Now let's go with password also. Okay. See, for password, we'll not see it, even though if you pass like this, right? Why? Because the data type is there like password. So now, for our understanding, let's make it to string now so that we'll create it again cp password i am selecting password close both brackets yeah so now the email details the username and password we have created with help of tcp we have got the data with the help of tcp okay now let's run this application run in the application
yes the test case is successful if you see here so the test case is successful the values what we passed we passed it from tcp see in scratch book we are not able to see that right so to see that we can put them in our execution list and run from there okay i am going to execution list i am just dropping on this particular execution list demo web app okay so this is the user login so here i'll just change the time instead of 30 seconds i'll make it like just to three seconds okay so save it so once i save in my test case it would be automatically saved in my execution also so i'm going to run this particular test case again Our test case is successful. Let's go ahead and see the steps. You can clearly see here, you know, login, we clicked, then email from where we entered, we entered from TCP. In shortcut, you can call it as CP configuration parameter username and password we got values from there and it waited for 3000 milliseconds that is three seconds then we have logged out okay this is the flow so hope everyone is clear with tcp concept